What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to kill a behemoth drone in solo gameplay. Now there are two main strategies I use when taking down a behemoth drone, and they're doable with three out of the four available classes. Assault, Sharpshooter, and Panther. But before I can get into the strategy of taking out a behemoth drone, I need to explain how the fight works and some setup tips before you fight it. First, let's talk about the Behemoth drone's vulnerable points. While it is heavily armored, the drone has large orange areas and small blue lights that are visible. The blue lights on the drone are your priority target, as hitting them will do a ton of damage and stun the drone for a few seconds. Hitting the orange area will also do a significant amount of damage, but not as much as hitting the blue lights will. Hitting the armor will not do anything to the drone unless you are using a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher. In that case, it will knock off some of the behemoth drone's armor, which is useful for exposing the orange areas. However, rocket launchers and grenade launchers don't do much damage to the behemoth drone, even with the explosives expert perk, so it's largely a waste of time. With the strategies in this video, you'll be able to take out behemoth drones easily within 2 minutes, and with a little luck under 1 minute, without having to use rocket launchers or grenade launchers. Second, before you fight the behemoth drone, you'll need to scout out the area for enemy patrols. This is one factor that changed the dynamic of the fight from the betas to the full game coming out, which is why I didn't make this guide until now. If you don't take out any enemy patrols before you start the fight, they will come rushing towards the sound of gunfire and explosions and engage you. This will make the fight unnecessarily longer, so just take them out with sync shot drones and or a suppressed assault rifle or submachine gun beforehand. Third, you need to understand how the behemoth drone fights you. The behemoth drone will target rockets at the last position you made noise at, which will typically be gunfire. However, if you're too close to the behemoth, it can hear you even if you're out of its line of sight, which means it will retarget its rockets at your current position. That said, the rockets are easily dodged. The behemoth drone's miniguns are the real threat, because if you don't get behind cover quickly, or use the drone spray, they will chew you up. So when possible, stay out of its line of sight and pop out of cover only for brief moments. Finally, as far as bivouac preparations go, I would typically use the fatigue resistance or weapon accuracy. You will not need injury resistance, because when done right, you can kill a behemoth drone without a single scratch on you. Now that we understand how the behemoth drone works, let's talk about strategies and tips on how to take it out. When playing as assault and sharpshooter, I'll analyze the terrain via drone before I go in and find places where it can be out of the behemoth drone's line of sight. I typically prefer going up on a plateau that's on higher ground than the behemoth drone, and when up there I'll move back and forth from two points on that plateau to shoot at the behemoth drone. If I'm running Assault, I'll activate True Grit from the beginning of the fight and fire 5 shots in quick succession at the Behemoth's blue spots. This is a devastating technique and deals a lot of damage to it in a short amount of time. The Sharpshooter is also useful against Behemoth drones. While Sharpshooter does not have the fast rate of fire of the Assault class's True Grit, the Armor Buster technique combined with a Sniper Rifle does a lot of damage to the Behemoth drone, so it still works well. My primary weapon of choice is a Mark III upgraded M82, ideal with the damage to drones and technique cooldown abilities. As far as perks go, I will typically use the Rolling Thunder, Sensor Hack, and Slim Shadow perks. Rolling Thunder and Sensor Hack will allow me to deal more damage against the Behemoth drone, and Slim Shadow allows me to exit engage detection faster so that I can get back into the fight without getting hit by the minigun faster. With this setup providing I'm using an elite weapon, I am dealing 71% more damage to the behemoth drone, which is devastating in the hands of the assault and sharpshooter classes. Of course, you don't have to have an elite gun to take out a behemoth drone, it's just an added bonus. When using this method, you can very easily take out a behemoth drone in under 2 minutes, sometimes even under 1 minute. However, there is another method you can use which is just as fast, if not even faster, than using the M82 of Assault or Sharpshooter. This method revolves around using the Panther and the Drone Spray special item that comes with it. Now to give credit where credit is due, 
I learned about this method from Fear Demon during the open beta for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. He was able to use this method to kill a behemoth drone in 9 seconds flat during the open beta, which is not possible in the full game but is still very impressive. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Please go subscribe to him and thank you Fear Demon for sharing his method with me. So basically you just use the drone spray, run up close to the behemoth drone, and light it up with an LMG. Again you'll want to hit the blue and orange lights, but when done right, you can easily kill the behemoth in under 2 minutes, sometimes under 1 minute. This method is great because you don't really need to worry about cover at all. All you need to do is dodge the rockets and make sure you don't get run over by the behemoth, neither of which are particularly hard. You do want to make sure you reapply the drone spray if the behemoth starts detecting you again, because if you don't put it on and it's not almost dead, you'll get shredded. With this method, I used the Mark 48 with the damage to drones ability. The second ability doesn't matter as much, it's up to you. I'll also use the Sensor Hack, Gunslinger, and Ballistic Advantage perks. Sensor Hack will give me that extra 10% damage to drones, and the Gunslinger and Ballistic Advantage perks will keep my LMG stable and accurate so I can hit the places I need to hit. So those are the strategies I use to take on the Behemoth drones in solo gameplay. With these tips and tactics, you'll be able to take out Behemoth drones with impunity, and get good loot, plenty of scale credits, and all the drone parts you'll ever need. I hope this video helped you out. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm Penguin Overlord, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, guys.